Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Winamp. Subscribe to the Daily Gizwiz and all your favorite podcasts with the ultimate media player. Download it for free at winamp.com. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1279 for Thursday, February 3rd, 2011. The Etch a Sketch Case. The Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by MailRoute, a secure hosted service that filters viruses and spam for companies of any size. For 10% off the life of your account, visit MailRoute.info to sign up. And now, get ready for Dick. It's Thursday! Time to dust off the rock and roll theme, Opus 7 in G Major. Man, if I were a rodeo, oh, wow. bull, bull rider, that'd be 15 <laughs> seconds of excellent riding. Wow. Hey, Dick. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. How's Getting your excited. heart after that? <laughs> Actually, <it's, laughs> what people uh, who are not watching the video don't know is that I bounce through the entire theme like Tigger on his tail. Yeah, really, really high. You're going to have to fix that ceiling before you know move out of that place. <laughs> no kidding. The plaster's coming down. Uh, yeah, very excited I excited to know you signed the lease for the new place. That's yeah, great. Yeah, we did that uh, on Friday, and uh, we, uh, we've got our creative director, Roger Ambrose. He just left. He was here uh, until a minute ago, and... You know, because he's really trying to get the feel of the town. He was wandering around the town. We put him up at the Metro Hotel, you know, your favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah, good. So, okay, that's good. So the studio will look like a basement? Mm. Yeah, I wanted him to. Actually, you know what? He's going to go very industrial, I think. He's still thinking oh, of ideas, good. but he's very visual. It's great. And uh, he did the screensaver set. You remember that old, beautiful set oh, with the yeah, arches? Yeah, yeah, yes. He's the best. And uh, so he's going to be uh, not only designing the studio itself, but he's going to design the whole office to match and the front and everything. So it's really going to have a look and feel, unified look and feel. And and here's the good news. It's only going to cost $18 million. Oh, that's great, that great? Leo, Because what, at, at dinner, you kept saying, Dick, I don't want to spend $20 million. I thought so it was. So you don't have to. No, he's saving us a, you know, a bundle. It's like 10% off. <laughs> Your math is good. I didn't know you were so good at that. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. really, Roger's great. I'm, I'm very excited. So, we, yeah, it's official now. And one of the things we're going to do, and I, I mentioned this before, but we're going to duplicate this studio, this little tiny studio, which you, you inaugurated, really. I mean, when you came here a few years ago and we had uh, the elf in here. Yes, we, yes. Sweat was pouring down our faces because yes, yes. we didn't have air and conditioning. And you could put something down on a table like there was room. <laughs> you were one of yeah, the first. I, re I remember tuning in and you said, Dick, 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 take a look at this. The the table, was it, was it two or three tables? I forgot. Had just arrived yes. and Colleen and you were sitting there and you were saying, I want a microphone, maybe like an old kind of microphone uh, here. Uh. It was very early. Pencil was that, on this side. <laughs> was that three, four years ago? It must have been four years ago. Oh, I, Leo, no. The Daily Gizwiz this month is starting year six. Wow. We are, wow. February 20th will be the last of the, of the first five years. So, But I don't remember how, how many... Uh, years and months we did it before you even got the desk. Yeah, I think probably it was a year in. That's probably about five okay. years ago. Okay. okay. But the, the you know this uh, this studio is going to come with us. I mean, I'm going to keep the everything that's in here is going to kind of come and become my office. But we're going to have a much larger, much nicer studio so that uh, 
<laughs> if we get if we get a number, you know, if you come out, we won't be shooting in here. We'll be shooting in a nicer space. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. You know, uh, give me the email address of the uh, architect because I want to discuss my dressing room. <laughs> there is a dressing room. Really? And is there a, a green room? There's a green room and a dressing room. I'm gonna have a star on it. And when people come to visit, like you, Dick, we're gonna put their I, put their name on it. Now, okay, if, good. good. If you have a magic marker to do that. Yeah, yeah, we do. If there's anybody else here. Of course, then we're gonna have a problem because we only have one one dressing room, one, one and one name, and oh, one name. A... But the you know they actually that for the first time ever when I did Regis and Kelly a few weeks ago, uh, it started. I went to the green room and there was my name, Leo Laporte. Now this is surprising me because Stephen Tyler of Aerosmith and Angie Dickinson were both on this episode. I thought I'm getting, but then I saw they had their own dressing rooms. And then Marianne, my producer, came to me and said, "We've got an extra dressing room. Would you like your name?" Uh, on, uh, on that, I said, yeah. So they took my name off the green room <laughs> and ran down the hall and put it on the dressing wow. room. Wow. So there you go. We will only have one of those. But well, I am going to okay. duplicate that. I'm going to duplicate. And when you come, it'll be, your name will be uh, on the front. Now, what we haven't figured out, you know, we've got this great Twit Cottage sign, which we'll still have. Yes. But it won't go on the front. I don't know what we're going to, how we're going to treat the front so that your name can show up in lights. But I think we'll probably have something you know, you know, you need a big LCD screen, put the long way so you can just sit there and type people's names. I think that's what names. we're going to do. I think we're going to do something like that, yeah. You know, and, and, you know, at boat shows, they're now showing these absolutely waterproof screens that can be on any boat in the rain, you know, just a waterproof LCD screen. Oh, you screen. mean outside? It could be outdoors. Oh, that's a good idea. It could idea. be outdoors, yeah. 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 Oh. But I'm still coming and writing mine in Magic Market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, don't worry because uh, there's pl the, I, I checked in the men's room. There's plenty of space there for you. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Should be, should Very be easy. Because yeah. uh, I, when I was out there, I said, why does it say the Gizwiz men? <laughs> and Lisa said, well, you're a man. Right. We, we wouldn't said, put oh, it on the women's. What are you, oh, crazy? Oh, right. so, oh silly. <laughs> Uh, Dick, what is your gadget today, my I friend? Guess today, you know, you may have missed this uh, at CES. Did you miss uh, electronic Etch-a-Sketch? You know, I saw the Etch-a-Sketch cases for the iPhone and iPad, but this is a working Etch-a-Sketch. This is the working Etch-a-Sketch. But it's electronic? And then you shake it, and uh, it gets, it's blank. But you're telling me this isn't knobs that you turn and... and yeah, yeah. This is... We, did, we didn't talk about it on the Gizwiz. We did on the radio. This is the Etch-A-Sketch case. And the people who make it said, Dick, whoever told you that there was only an Etch-A-Sketch uh, app for the iPad was incorrect. There is an Etch-A-Sketch app for the touch... And the oh. iPhone 4. So that's so the this, case with an Etch-a-Sketch app in it. App. And you can, I, I, you know, I spend the money. I bought the 99 cent app, but <laughs> you can, Thank you, I Dick. have no idea what it, what it does over the free app, but uh, it's the, the company is called Hard Case, and their website is Get uh, Head Case, rather, and their website is GetHeadCase.com, and they make Etch-a-Sketch cases hard cases for the iPhone, the, the, the 3, the iPhone 4, the Touch, the iPad. And they're, they're the same prices. You know, most cases are 25 bucks. These are, are the same price, 25 39 I think, for the, um, the iPad version. And part of the expense is the fact that they had to get the license from... Sure. Ohio Art. Ohio who, Art, um, yeah. Yeah, who I think must have sold 10 billion of the Etch-a-Sketches. But it's really great fun. And it's very easy to fool people because I put my uh, touch in the case and I went up to you Mad. You fooled me. I totally believed you. I thought oh, it was yeah. electronic Oh, yeah, when I went back after CES, they said, what did you find? I said, well, the neatest little thing is a little Etch-a-Sketch electronic, and I drew and <laughs> shook it, and I said, that's amazing. I should have done that for Regis. That would have been hysterical. <laughs> that would have been funny. That is so uh, funny. Um, so get a headcase.com and um, about a little under $25 for the iPhone 4, iPhone 3, and iPod Touch. iPad 2. And the iPad is 39 bucks.
and the app is free or 99 cents and i don't know i don't know what extras you get with the uh professional version you get um hmm, i don't know that's a good question maybe pre-drawn maybe maybe yeah they, if it did the yeah. drawing for me that'd be good yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> that's what i need i could never do it just sketch Dick, before we get to your letter of the day, can I briefly say that we do not get spam in our email of the day, and there's a good reason for it. We use MailRoute.info for, for the last six years, since 2004. I've been filtering all the mail to Leoville with MailRoute, and it's great. Uh, last year, 970,000 spam messages I never saw. 970,000 spam messages clobbered by MailRoute before they even came to my server, and that's why I like it. If you could change the MX record on your server... Whether you're a school, a government, uh, a corporation, or just an individual with his own server or her own server, this is a great solution. Try it free at MailRoute.info. There are individual accounts available. And if you go to MailRoute.info, that's a special URL just for Twit listeners. You could save 10%, not just for the first month or year, but for the life of your account. MailRoute.info. We thank you for their support of the Daily Gizwiz. This just in, from Alex Gumpel, our professional intern. <laughs> the, no. the, the, the front of the Twit Studios, notice the windows you can look in, the monitors above each window, and above that, giant signs that say, Dick DiBartolo has left the building. <laughs> I like it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, Alex. Now, Good there's job. a man who could use an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just whipped that up. Can you believe it? I'm gonna, He's unbelievable. Alex, Alex is, is I'm your... putting this right on the refrigerator. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I bet you if you let Alex do it, he could turn it. I bet he could do it for $17 million. You know, maybe. I think so. Maybe. I, I should just so. give the intern a, a chance. Here. Yep. Cut yeah. a corner here. Cut a corner there. <laughs> Who needs a roof? Who? Yes, exactly. Who needs a basement that's not flooded? Come on. <laughs> Our letter is from Eric Strang. Yeah. And the subject line is three daily Gizwiz gadgets tied together. Mm. Uh, first, I want to congratulate Twit on its top-notch coverage of CES. Thank you, sir. Wow. Twit keeps getting better. I should know. I'm a fan from the first year. Well, it'll be hard for us to get any worse. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's true. Now I have the clear 4G. That was the USB modem yeah, I did a yeah, few weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have my Nexus S. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. you know, did on Turn the Table mm -hmm. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I have my Skosh Solar Power mm -hmm. USB battery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's with a uh, uh, gadget. And for forty-five dollars a month, unlimited data, no voice plan needed. From Virgin Mobile, no doubt. Uh, he didn't say. Okay. I bet not many people use their Nexus with four G speeds. I do, thanks to the daily Gizwiz. Gingerbread's wonderful. The best is the native support for SIP, uh, Voit, Voice over Internet Protocol, telephony. I always hated that word, telephony. I hooked it up with a free SIPgate number. I can call anyone, anytime. Wow, I want to know about that. That's cool. The only thing I need now is some Scotty Vest clothing. <laughs> then I'll be set. You know, he uh, has underwear now, Scott does, Scott Jordan. He's got Scotty Vest boxer shorts with pockets. Oh, oh yeah. So now it's a, a new joke. Is that an iPhone in your underwear or are you just <laughs> happy to see me? <laughs> or are you just weirdly misshapen? Yes, that's yeah, true. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'll be wearing true. my Scotty Vest uh, boxers uh, down there, uh, down under. So, oh, well, that's where they belong. And, well, and, well, and in Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Eric, hey, that's great. That's you neat. parlayed three gadgets into a really usable, workable, and expensive way to keep in touch. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes. Dick Tomato, uh, will you go to the gadget warehouse? 
Will you find an old and out of the way gadget? Will you show us everything you've seen there? I'll be here. D A I L Y. It's the day. its own gravy. Uh, yeah.